Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I take notes on my iPad Pro. First of all, I quickly jot down a to-do list so I can refer back to it whilst I'm revising. Obviously, if I don't complete things in that time frame, they'll be moved on to tomorrow's to-do list. Then I'll go on the app called Over, which I mainly use for my titles. So after I've got my title all done from the app over, I will just paste the image into my document and just go around the letters with like a, a pretty colour so it looks a little bit nicer because I cannot write titles myself for the life of me because my handwriting just isn't neat enough. So now moving on to the main body of text, I like using the Cornell method because it helps me remember things a lot clearer than just writing blocks of text. So on the left, I'll have a trigger word or a piece of information that helps me remember something else or even a question sometimes. And then you write down what it is you want to remember next to it. So it's a lot easier to review when you come back to revising before your exam. Though I have to say, I prefer writing on black paper just because it's less straining on the eyes and if I want to review it, say, before I go to bed, then it's not as harmful and the blue lights won't affect you as much. Usually when I'm at school, I won't have my laptop and that is when I do most of my revision. So I found this website called Online to PDF, which I will download my PowerPoint to beforehand and it basically will condense, say, a 200 slide PowerPoint into 10 sheets with six of each slide on each page, which I find so much easier to read and it's a lot less overwhelming when you come to it. At school, I'll use a split screen with the PowerPoint document and Notability, which I use to take my notes. I find this so much easier because I don't have to keep flicking back and forth to the PowerPoint while I'm writing, I can have one next to the other. So here on GoodNotes 5, I store all my PowerPoints for all my topics. So that evening or the day after, I can go back and review the lesson. I will annotate all the diagrams on the PowerPoint and also annotate any extra information that I've got from other sources like CGP workbooks, etc. After this, I will then use Google Sheets, which I use for active recall. I put the questions in the first column and the answers in the second column. So when I'm revising, I can put the answers to white and ask myself the questions. After you've answered the questions, you can then reveal the answers and put a tick, a cross or a question mark next to them, which basically tells you what questions you need to go over. Next we have the app Notion, which I use to organise all of my summary notes. So say the night before or a week before your exam and you want to cram in all the revision for what's on the topic, I will go on to Notion and create a document. So say here we've got the skeletal and muscular systems where I will go down and blur everything that I know, then refer to an external source to check my information. I will then use these toggle lists, which I can open and close and test myself with. So I'll read the toggle list, go, okay, axial skeleton. Then I'll basically just write down whatever I know and then click the toggle list so the answers come down. I can then check what things I've missed out and what things I haven't, and then I know what I need to work on. The best thing about Notion is that it's free for educators and students. So if you just sign up with your school email address, then go on to settings on a desktop and scroll down to plans, you'll be able to then request an education plan for free, which gives you all the templates, like unlimited storage and basically everything you'll need to use this as your primary source of organisation and also summary notes. Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it to the end, comment a smiley face of any kind and make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell so you know when I upload. Bye!